In this video, I'll show you how you can use the Square Point of Sale app as a complete beginner. So what we want to do is first download the app from the App Store or the Google Play Store, simply search for Square and you will be able to find it. Now, once we have the application itself installed, once we open it, it is going to ask us to create an account. Now, I've just created a sample account here. It only requires your email address, password, and that's it. And it's going to look a little something like this. So you have the keypad here. So this here's where you type the amount which you want to charge. And then you click on charge and the amount displayed. Very simple. Now, right here, we have the library at the top. So where it says test here, it's just a test item that I have created. And here you can sort all of your items, rewards, discounts, and services. And you can also use the search bar here to search for specific things. And uh, here, if we click on create item, we can either create an item which we're selling a service or we can create a discount depending on uh, what we want to do. And the field itself looks a little something like this. We will go back to this in a second. And here favorites basically just uh, shows you a grid of all of your favorite items so you can access them easier. All right, so that was for the main field. Now the second field here, transactions, once we select it, you will see a list of all your transactions here on the Square POS app and you can refund and you can check all of the details, IDs, that sort of stuff in this field. Now notifications here, basically what is going on with your account and uh, if you need to take any further steps uh, when it comes to the Square app. Now the last field here that says more, once we select it, you will see a bunch of things here. So we have orders, reports, items online, all of these things here. So if we go one by one orders, you can sort and see a list of all of your uh, orders here that people have made reports here. You can track all of your sales and disputes. Now items, here's where we have all of our different items and I told you that we will set them up. So for example, we have services, categories, modifiers, discounts, options, units, all items. So if I click on all items here, you will see that I have one test item. And if I click on create item, we need to set a name for it. So I'll just call it test two and it immediately shows up and we can click on the tile to edit. So we can add a photo here for the item, which we're uh, selling. And we also can change the color here. So just, just like that. All right. So the categories, if we have set specific categories for this application, then we can choose from this list. So for example, here, if I, uh, for example, I'm sell selling flowers, you can charge for flowers, so on and so forth and options. We can also add specific options here. If I click on create option. So as you can see, the example is t-shirt cover display name and we can do it as an option for So for if you're selling t-shirts, you can do red t-shirt, yellow t-shirt, that sort of thing. Here we have the price and inventory. So we have the GTIN, the SKU, the unit and the price. So here's the arguably the most important field. So you have to fill out all of this information and set a price for it. So for example, if I do it like this, two of my currency and we can also add stock. So if you want to mark something as sold out at the location, you will do it like this and you'll click on save. And we can also add different variations here. So if, like I said, if you're doing uh, different uh, t-shirt covers, so on and so forth. And we also have the taxes here. So we can say this item is non-taxable or we can uh, set specific taxes for the item and the visibility here. We can do hidden un unavailable or visible and click on save, click on save, and you will have created an item which you can charge for. Now I'm going to click on more again. And here where it says online, you can uh, set this up to sell online on the Square app. And the next field here is going to be customers. So right here, you will be able to see a list of all of your um, regular customers and you can uh, get their information as long as they are willing to supply it and then keep a list, uh, like I said, right here. So if I click on continue here, instant profiles is enabled. You can turn this feature on and off anytime from your settings. So like I said here, if I go to customers. Now you will be able to see a list of all of the people who have uh, made a purchase 
on your Square store or online store or store in person and you can use the search bar here to search for them. Okay, so going back here, I'll just click on the three dots. Okay, so I will just do this as an example and I'll click on more. Okay, we have some technical issues there, but all right, I've gone back and here I've clicked on more again. And the next field is going to be payment links. So once we select it, update your location to enable payment links, we need to change our location in the web dashboard. So we have to set that up as well for our store. We'll do that. And once I click on more again, you can see subscriptions. Now the plans here, if you are selling a specific plan, you can create a plan and it's going to take you to the Square Up app or the website and you can do it after you have logged in. But for now, I'll just go back. We will not explore this. The same goes for subscriptions. So if you want to start selling subscriptions, we will create a plan and again, it's going to refer us to the website. So that's it. And here we can do the add-ons. So when you go to add-ons, I suggest uh, choosing all of the options which you will need. So for example, we have here cash management, gift cards, online, open tickets, payment links, subscriptions. I've added all of these and you can see here open in checkout if you want to remove any of those you'll click on the three, three dots in the top right and you'll just click on remove and once i click on more again here you will see referrals so share square get rewarded so basically if you send a referral here and somebody signs up through your link you will get your uh, you will get some uh, cash and if you go to your rewards, you will be able to see how much you have earned. Now I'm going to click on more again. Here support if you're experiencing any issues, you will have tutorials and tours, get help, set up, so on and so forth. And arguably the most uh, important field here, the last, last but not least, if we click on settings, you will see all these different uh, options here. So for checkout, once we click on it, we can set quick amounts. So basically, if you're selling one product more than the other, you can select this quick amount and uh, get paid faster. Sales tax, here we can create sales tax for the items. Order tickets, so you will have the auto-assigned tickets. And the payment here, what types of payments we're accepting. So as you can see, these are all the different payment types. And uh, also from the payment field, or rather from the uh, checkout field here in general, you will have tipping as well if, you, if it's supported in your country. And customer management, if we click on here, you can play with these settings. Now I'm just going to go back here. You have hardware. So <laughs> this is all of the barcode scanners, printers, and security here, passcodes if we want to add any. When we click on account, you can change your uh, account um, email address and we can link a bank account by clicking on here and we select link bank account. So basically that's it, customer information request here, you can see all of the information requests as well as your add-ons and that's basically how this application works. So if you want to sell tickets here, you can create a ticket as well. You type the amount, you charge and if the person pays, then you get paid. So hope this helps, leave a like and sub, I'll see you next time.